Dear colleagues, this is a very soft cataract and in such cases I usually manage the nucleus by my lens tilt technique. By this time all the incisions have been made. Now I am doing capsulorexis in lens tilt technique. The capsulorexis should be large about 6 mm so that the nucleus can prolapse out of the capsular bag by hydrodissection. So this is a large rexis about 6 mm and now I am going to do hydrodissection. BSS has been taken in a 2 cc syringe and a 27 gauge cannula is attached to the syringe. Now this is hydro dissection. Some viscoelastic substance has been expressed out. Now I am going to inject the BSS in the phonics of the capsular bag. And now some more hydro and the nucleus prolapses out of the capsular bag. Now I inject viscoelastic substance on either side of this nucleus. Some viscoelastic substance is being sprayed over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and some more visco on the other side of the nucleus. And now I'm going to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece. The chopper goes on the other side of the nucleus and see how I am going to do it. One sculpt, two sculpt, three sculpt and the portion which is above the capsule, the supracapsular portion of the nucleus has come off. Now I am dividing this part into two parts and each part is being emulsified and removed. So this is a very simple, very safe, very fast technique, the lens tilt technique. Our guru Dr. K.K. Mehta described this technique as lens salute technique. I call it lens tilt technique since the lens is tilted by hydrodissection. And now some cortical lens matter is there, not much. I am going to inject some viscoelastic substance and then in this case I have taken a Simco cannula to remove this cortical lens matter. And sometimes you cannot aspirate the lens matter easily. Then you come out and flash out the lens matter. Like this. You come out and flash out the lens matter. And then you again go in and aspirate. So whenever some cortical matter blocks the aspirating port of the Simco cannula, you just come out and flash out. And this sub-incisional cortex can be easily removed going through the side port. This is a very simple instrument. One can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration and after polishing the posterior capsule, viscoelastic substance has been injected to fill up the anterior chamber and in this case this is a hydrophilic this is a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens from Bosch and Lomb. It is Envista. It's a glistening free intraocular lens. I have a follow-up of about four years and I have not seen glistening till now. No financial, no financial interest but let me speak the truth. 
And now viscoelastic substance is flushed out, irrigated out from the anterior chamber from behind the eye well. Most important is to remove the viscoelastic substance thoroughly if you want to avoid post of the rise of intraocular pressure and avoid steamy corneal edema. It is very important. Bimanual irrigation aspiration is also used to remove the viscoelastic substance in addition to the Simcoe cannula. And now the side ports are hydrated and after hydrating the side ports, this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and the anterior chamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.